Hello and welcome back to Colonial Airstream here in Millstone Township, New Jersey. Our beautiful new facility built for you, our lovely customers. And today I want to show you something very special. This is the special edition, all new 2022 Airstream Pottery Barn 28RB. RB stands for rear bedroom. You have two bedroom options, a rear bedroom twin and a rear bedroom queen. Today we're gonna to be demonstrating the rear bedroom queen model. Factory options available? Well, you have a choice of either the standard gas oven or you can get a convection microwave. The trailer is 28 feet from center of the ball to the back bumper and it is nine foot six from the ground to the top of the air conditioner. Gives you about a six foot, six and a half inch interior headroom. Exterior width is eight foot, five and a half inches, and the interior width is eight foot one. Let's talk about weights. It's 7,600 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. That is the maximum weight the trailer could be. The dry weight before any factor options or cargo is 6,600 pounds, giving you a net carrying capacity of 1,000 pounds. The hitch weight is 900 pounds. This model we have here will be on display at our dealership for the next several months. So you wanna make sure you come down and take a look at it. The MSRP of a Airstream Pottery Barn ordered today would be just over 151, including the national destination charge. Let's take a look at a little bit of exterior details and we'll head on inside and I'll give you a full tour today. Check out this Sunbrella awning. Material Pottery Barn picked out and it's built on the zip D structure of the awning. So this is a power awning and it has a motor to bring it in and out and up and down. And there are some details that come with this trailer. So what we're looking at here is the Indio outdoor folding table and armchair. In addition to that, they give you this cool party ledge. So this slips onto the window track, and this is available exclusively with the Pottery Barn trailer. So it's not available through parts department. It is something that only comes with this trailer, but I love this. It stores easily inside. If you look at the top of the awning, it has LED rope lights that illuminate this area. It gives it a really nice glow at night. And then what Pottery Barn and Airstream put together here was a little chalkboard at the entry door. So you can write little notes to each other. Maybe what's for dinner tonight and where we're going today, what the plan is. And then on the screen door, the screen door guards have the Pottery Barn stamped into them and always home. And this just slides here to fill that gap up. And that's followed through to the always home welcome mat that comes part of the kit. When you head up the two entry steps, there's a doorbell here. So your neighbors could come and uh, say hi to you and uh, maybe uh, invite you out somewhere. Now look at the floor, this vinyl flooring throughout the whole entire trailer uh, looks like tile, residential tile. And that's the whole look of this trailer is a residential look. One of the first things you're gonna see is this large sofa here. The material they use is their performance Busel fabric, and they use this on a lot of their residential sofas, and it holds up extremely well. If you look at the bottom of the sofa here, it actually has the legs that a regular sofa has, so it's elevated off the floor to give it more of a residential look and feel. And then this cushion lifts up, and you can see it's the standard plywood bench, but there are uh, high-density foam built in here, which gives you ultimate comfort and the back pieces are, are removable pillows. So you could change the depth and you could pile up a whole bunch of these and use it as a chase. So there's lots of options there. Over here, they incorporated a little workstation. So this armrest lifts up and this table flips over and you could have a meal here. You could get some work done. Uh, really, really nice details on this trailer. If you look over here on the wall, there's a switch uh, box here. This has the multiplex wiring. 
So a lot of the lighting you can control on an app on your phone or touch screens, or you can just press these buttons here. So there's an onboard mode. So when you come into the trailer, you hit onboard and it turns on and wakes up the lights. When you go out for the day, you can hit away and it then shuts down the lights. You could turn on and off the exterior lights from here, ceiling lights only. You can extend and retract the awning. You could tilt the awning front and rear from here, and you could turn the battery system off. The wall sconce here, these are out of the Pottery Barn catalog, but they're modified for RV use because they run on 12 volt DC. And then if you take a look at these blackout curtains here, it uh, really gives you a lot of privacy, but the curtains are oatmeal linen emery curtain fabric. So this is uh, one of their other catalog items that Airstream and Pottery Barn collaborated and put together. There's some reading lights here over the sofa. And then you have upper cabinetry. This is a curved plywood with laminate. And it has a, a panel door here and a white finish. Inside here, I, there is a DVD Blu-ray player, a stereo system, USB charging, and an inverter outlet. This has a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter system on board. They'll take your stored battery energy and invert it into electricity so you can run a television or laptop computer. Battery system on board, this has two 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries, 12 volt in parallel, giving you 200 amp hours total of battery capacity. Also has 390 watt solar panels on the roof, so you get a lot of solar gain on this model. Over here in the corner, another wall sconce, and then there is more lights here for your reading lights, dinette lights and ceiling lights. So you have a lot of control over lights and the lights on the ceiling are also dimmable. And when you turn them on and off, they don't just turn off instantly, uh, they dim down. And I could hold the button in here and make them brighter or dimmer, depending on what look I'm going for. There's a regular GFCI protected outlet here and a window here that you t pull, twist and lift. And that will open the window. Three different heights you have. And then there is a Roman style shade here for privacy. There's a Vista view window up top here, smoke detector, and some hooks here to hang things on the side of this roof locker. Down here, there are some drawers that go underneath the sofa. Plenty of storage. And then over here on the wall, there's an inverter outlet, and that inverter outlet will allow you to plug your laptop computer in over there. Over here, there's a drawer that goes underneath the dinette. And look at the bins that Pottery Barn includes. They come with the trailer, and they fold up and they collapse if you just wanted to store them uh, elsewhere and they didn't have one fully assembled. And there's a magnet that keeps the top shut. Really great storage options in this trailer. As we look in the galley, one of the first things you're going to notice is beautiful galley kitchen area. Incorporated in the galley kitchen, there's a large trash pail. And there is a cutting board here, so you could cut and slice and slide things directly into the garbage pail. Behind this, there is additional storage for trash bags and additional items you don't really need to get to all the time. Solid surface, beautiful countertop material. Another storage bin, you can put this anywhere you'd like. An electrical outlet. And this has the Girard tankless water heater. This tankless water heater uh, uses propane and you set your temperature, your desired temperature. When you turn the faucet on all the way, that is a temperature of water that will come out of your faucet. So you can keep running that for a very long time until you run out of water, uh, but you'll still have hot water the whole entire time. And then, there's some, uh, a lot of really cool items that come with this trailer. If you want to make a cheese board, you could do that with that. Ocean Air roller shades. Lights over the black kitchen faucet. This pulls out as a sprayer. This is a solid walnut cutting board. A little groove here. Pottery Barn name. This comes off and you have this deep apron sink, all stainless steel. Lots of room in there, like in a residential application. And then you'll see it wraps to the front here. So this is the, the sink actually sits out from the cabinet. 
And then in here, there's some mugs that come with it. And then you have silverware. We have some of it already out on the table. Another drawer here and another drawer here. Lots of storage. Anywhere that Airstream can put storage, they do. These little cutouts here, that is the furnace intake. This is the 30,000 BTU propane force hot air furnace system. That also heats the room, but it heats the tanks down below. So if you're doing some cold weather camping, it's to protect your tanks from freezing. Up top, we have a 15,000 BTU Coleman air conditioner with heat pump and a 13,500 BTU air conditioner with heat pump in the bedroom. And these are the intake rates for that. And everything's controlled through the touch screen over here or through an app on your phone. Skylight in the galley with shade. Pull across. And this has a thermal break, so it's an interior, exterior skin. There's a fantastic fan here in the galley that's controlled off the app or on your phone. And then all the air conditioning is ducted. So it intake and it blows the hot or cold air out of these vents here. And you can spin the vents around and get shut some vents off and dedicate airflow to a different area. Back to the galley. This has the optional convection microwave. It's a $475 option upgrade. So it's electric convection oven microwave. You choose what, which one you want to turn on. There's storage below and that goes right up to the wheel well though. So the wheel wells in an Airstream cut it into the body, kind of like a bed of a pickup truck where the wheel well is cut in. So Airstream builds storage up into that point. There's a three burner uh, cooktop here and you just select which burner you want on and you ignite using this. And then there's little lights here to illuminate this at night if you wish. And then there's a cover here that flips down to give you more counter space. And you can see the little side splash here and backsplash. So if it gets wet here, it's not gonna roll behind the cabinet. There's a cooktop ventilation that vents outside and there's a light built into it. There's a spice rack here and then there's knife storage in this compartment here. Or you could put a bottle of wine or liquor in there, whatever you desire. More roof locker storage up top. And this one has the owner's bag with all the manuals that come with the trailer in it. And then what is this? We have another item. It's like a cheese board. Across from the galley is the beautiful dinette area. Same cushion material that was on the sofa. Two large windows that overlook your awning side. This is your camping side of the trailer. So this is where your family would be outside sitting on the table. So it's nice while you're in the kitchen, you look outside and see what everybody's doing. Two more shades here. These two windows open all the way out. You have vista view windows up top and this black solid table here, solid oak table. It also unlocks and you can slide it out. And then you could also, if you want to get in, you can slide it out of your way. This makes it a lot easier to get in and get the whole family on board here. When you're ready to make it into a bed, you remove your items from the table. You pull the lever here and push down and just lays down. You can lock it using the same lever. And then you just take the cushions off the back here, slide them in the middle. And it's 42 by 76. I'll show you what that looks like. You can squeeze two adults in there. Moving on, we have a television here. This is on a articulating arm, so you can swivel it around in different positions. Behind the TV, there's an inverter outlet, and there's an antenna booster, USB charge ports, and an HDMI. And the table's nicely recessed and locks in place when you're not using it. There's a sensor here for the front zone of your air conditioning. We'll get to the C-zone panel. You can control the exterior lighting from here. You could turn it on sleep mode from here. That dims down the lights. Away mode, shuts the panel off. 
onboard mode, when you come back, brings the lights back on. And you could do it from here as well. Then you could do your controls. So you could control the awning light. You could turn it on and off from here. Your uh, bath accent. And then you go here, turn that on. Bath fan, we could have that on if we wanted to. Bath mirror light. Also on here, you could turn on and off the main battery system and your water pump and inverter as well. And you could designate and just have it isolated to AC items or DC items. And then you could control this if you download the app on your phone. Uh, you can control your items remotely because this does come with the Airstream connected antenna. And that antenna will give you AT&T service. You just have to sign up for a service plan and pick your data. And then once you do that, remotely you can control items on this trailer using your phone. For example, if you wanted to Heading back to the trailer, you want to turn the air conditioning down so you come back, it's nice and cold. You could control that from your phone. If the weather changes and you accidentally left your awning out when the trailer was unattended, you could control that from your phone as well. It's very helpful to have that app. Over here, we have an eight cubic foot Norcold compressor style refrigerator. So the advantage to this is it doesn't need fans running behind it and vent grates behind it. Um, it. It runs a little bit more efficient than an absorption style and you could leave it on when you're driving because it runs off the battery system that's on board instead of a propane one which you'd have to shut off when you're driving. Another advantage is that it's deep. You could actually put large items in here. Um, a lot of the propane style refrigerators are much more shallow. And all the controls are up here to turn it on and off and change the temperature setting in the top and bottom. One unique feature is the night mode. So if you hold this in for a few seconds, it actually turns the compressor down. And if for some reason at night you could hear the compressor running and you wanted it uh, to quiet it, if you turn it to night mode, they know that you're not going to be open and closing the door all night long, so the compressor doesn't have to run as hard, uh, but it allows the refrigerator to go in a much lower mode for night use. Over here is the battery converter charger. This converts AC to DC and charges your batteries, has all your breakers in it and your fuses. So the breakers are for your electrical components like the air conditioning and electrical outlets and microwave. And the 12 volt fuses are for your water pump, your lights, and your fans. Above the refrigerator, there's additional storage here with a J latch to keep this shut. I do like these handles that they chose. Very discreet. And then over here, there's a privacy curtain. And then you unvelcro it, and it comes across the hall. Gives you privacy because back here, there is a split bath. So split means the shower's on one side of the hallway and the toilet is on the other side of the hallway. And there, let me control the lights for the shower so uh, we could see when we go in here. The shower has a glass door, a black frame, and a magnet to keep the door shut when you're camping and a travel latch to keep it shut when you're driving. It's all uh, fiberglass enclosure, drain here on the floor, and then a Moen residential style faucet, bright LED light up top, and then a clothesline that pulls across and locks in for light items, so let them dry. Bathroom fan here, so this vents outside. And the ledge happens to also be the wheel well, but you could use that to sit down in the shower if, if you needed to. And there's an access panel to get to the plumbing if it ever needed to be updated or repaired down the road. Over here is the wardrobe. In the wardrobe, there is the sheets that come with the trailer. There's a light up top here, there's a hanging rod. And then there's a, a storage box for that party ledge for the arm support for it. And then an access panel to the back of the shower faucet. Large mirror here on the back of the door. And if you look on the back of the door, there's a QR code. And the QR code will allow an owner to scan that with their cell phone, and it brings them right to the support page on Airstream's website. Airstream did spend a lot of time and effort to 
better prepared our customers for situations where they need support. There are a lot of online resources that they could go to, even the parts book, the owner's manual, the brochures, how-to videos, as well as they do have the 800 number you could call for support. Uh, but by scanning that, you can get right to the resource page on Airstream's website for you. Across from the shower is the toilet area and it has a porthole style window here. And look at the laminate that Airstream uses. So this is not a sticker, this is not a decal. This is actually laminate over plywood. Uh, you won't find any particle board in Airstream's construction. You won't find any vinyl stickers. Uh, and then the top here is left as a gap to allow airflow in because there is another bathroom fan in here. So in the bathroom, we have a deep bowl style sink that sits above the counter and drains right through. We have storage below. That curved area is the wheel well, toilet paper holder, Dometic porcelain toilet with a foot pedal flush. Has a subway tile look wall. A hanger here for, you can hang a shirt or a wet towel. Another towel bar here. And then you have the back sconce, accent lights, which gives a, a warm glow. Behind here is a medicine cabinet. You can put additional items here. You have more light controls here as well. Sliding storage. A GFCI protected electrical outlet. Two bright LED lights, air conditioning duct, and a bathroom fan. So this vents stale air out of this area. But the compartment itself is very spacious. I'm five foot nine if you want to get an idea on how much headroom you have. And elbow room, right? If you're here and you're brushing your teeth or shaving, you want some little bit of elbow room. That gives you plenty of room in this compartment. And the vinyl floor continues throughout. Below the floor is Transcore flooring, so it's a composite flooring material. Uh, it replaces the plywood that Airstream used for many, many years. I have a 1961 Airstream Bambi trailer that has the original plywood floor. As long as that floor doesn't get saturated for over 120 days, you won't have to worry about delamination and eventually rot. Well. A step above that, now the transcore floor here allows it, if it did get wet, there is no way for it to rot. It also, instead of being eight by four sheets that are tongue and groove, there it's one piece. So this whole entire trailer, the floor that's below the trailer is one piece. And Airstream cuts in all the holes for all the furnace ducts and the lines that have to run through the floor. Also, you don't have to worry about over time having creaks in the floor because it is one piece so you don't have to worry about uh, the creaks at the seams and then it has better screw retention so when they screw it into the outriggers and the frame structure of the trailer the screws will hold in a lot better as well as many many other benefits to this flooring system and it's been in production since January 2020 on all Airstream traditional travel trailers. This is the skylight in the bath with shade, and it has a film on it for privacy from above. And then this is the rear queen bed. This is 60 inches by 75 inches long, and it's a pillow top memory foam, beautiful mattress. And underneath the mattress is a plywood base with slots uh, drilled into it to allow airflow, and then the whole entire bed lifts up to gain access to storage. Here's some more of the bins that come with the trailer. And you can see the edge grain of the plywood and laminate here. And there's bulk storage on either side of the bed. So you could put your tool kit in here. You could put bottled water if you needed to. Anything that you don't necessarily need to get to all the time, you could store under the bed. And a nice signature feature of this 28RB is whether you get the twin or queen bed, you get a rear panoramic window. So that panoramic window gives you a beautiful view outside. And then on either side, you get these 30 inch wide stacked windows with a porthole below. These two open all the way out. On the twin bed model, the beds are 34 inches wide and they're 80 inches long. So this is 75, the twins will be 80. So you do get additional 
bed length when you get the twin bed. And then on the twin bed model, there will be a shirt locker at the foot of the beds. On the nightstands here, there is storage below. A ledge here to put your personal items, uh, electrical outlet, USB. There's even USB on these reading lights here next to the bed. You got spotlights over the bed. The same curtain material that's in the front carries through to the bedroom to give you full blackout privacy. Some decor pillows and additional comfort items that come with the Pottery Barn Edition. Cabinets are backlit back here. There's the bed pillows that come with it. Look at the premium hardware they use. This keeps the door open and keeps tension on it to keep it shut when you're towing. And this little magnet here is what controls the light on and off. Same storage on the other side. At the foot of the bed here, there's some hooks that allow you to hang a few shirts or whatever items you wanna hang off of them. Another control here, this controls the bathroom lights and shower lights, ceiling lights in the bedroom, reading lights. You could turn it to sleep mode, so it's time for bed. Let's go to sleep. Hit sleep mode, it will dim down the lights, turn them off in the trailer, and on board. We'll wake everything up in the morning when, when you're ready to turn the lights back on. Another privacy curtain that pulls across the hallway here to give you ultimate privacy in that bathroom split area, and then another temperature control for your rear zone air conditioner that's on the roof. Television here on the wall will swivel in different positions and locks in place when you're towing. And then you have cable, HDMI, and an inverter outlet on board uh, so you could power this television when you're not plugged into electricity. This window opens just like the front windows did. You lift, snap into the little grooves here to get your desired height. And when you're all done and ready to travel, you lower it and lock it in place. And I always pull the shade down for uh, security re reasons. Let's talk about the speaker system. That front stereo has two speakers up front and two speakers in the rear. And then there's also a subwoofer up front to give you five speakers total. And if you look over to bed here, while you're lying in bed, there's additional lighting controls up here. So yeah, right at hand's reach, you can control the lights on board. Back up in the galley to get this view again. Let's take a look and see what additional items that are included with this trailer. This is a 16 piece Mason stoneware dinner set and you get a salt and pepper shaker. This is all metal, you know, this isn't plastic. And the silverware, we saw some of it in the drawer before. But nicely decorated, it's nicely accessorized by Airstream and Pottery Barn. Let's take a walk outside. I wanna show you some exterior details. I always love the entry door of the trailer and I always mention every uh, video, I'm not going to go in great detail, but it takes about eight hours to build each door. Every door is a work of art. The screen door here has all TIG welded, closes nice and square to the entry door. Extruded aluminum frame here all welded at the bottom, grip tape here so you don't slip out. And one of the mindful things that Airstream does is they know when you go camping, even if you take your shoes off, the floor is going to get dirty and you want to sweep it out. They had this little lip here at about a 45 degree angle allows you to sweep the trailer out with a broom. Entry step, it's two steps. Now you don't always need both steps, so you can fold the bottom one up and, and just utilize one, or you could tuck the whole thing away. It's completely flush when you're in transit. This is a 90th anniversary edition, so not all Pottery Barn editions will be the 90th anniversary of Airstream, uh, because most of them are gonna be built after January 1st, 2021, and that will be Airstream's 91st year. This door, deadbolt here, main door lock, two separate keys, unique keys to this trailer. Window on the back of the entry door, grab handle, and that is the porch light or the awning light or the exterior light. Beautiful hinges here. 
And you can see on the trailer the detail here, this is the belt line protection. This is where the two seams of aluminum overlap and are riveted. It's dressed up and protected by this belt line. This is the rub rail protection here. This is the body under roll. And the hole underneath is insulated and wrapped in aluminum. So you look underneath an Airstream trailer, it's aluminum just like the rest of the trailer. This is the catch for the entry door to keep it locked in place when you're parked. If the wind blows, you don't want your door to swing shut on you. You have an outside GFCI protected electrical outlet. Dexter axles with uh, never lube hubs. So you don't have to repack your wood bearings every 5,000 miles or so. Uh, these are sealed. You still do have to do inspection. You have to be mindful of bearing wear. This has the never adjust brake system. So these are drum brakes on this trailer. And uh, they're about 12 inches and they will self adjust as you tow and back up. And this has the Goodyear Endurance 225-75 R15. So that's a 15 inch rim tires and their max inflation is 80 PSI. And then each rubber torsion axle has a shock absorber on it uh, to give you a really enhanced ride and a very low center of gravity with this uh, axle system. So if you look at most travel trailers, the floor is all the way up here. You gotta go up two extra steps to get inside, which gives you an overall height that's higher and a higher center of gravity. With the Airstream torsion axle system, the whole trailer is lower to the ground, which gives you uh, an absolutely incredible towing experience. And that's uh, one of the most common things that are mentioned to me after a customer takes delivery and tows home. If they had another travel trailer before and it wasn't an Airstream, they are thrilled with the towing experience, and I'm sure you would be too. This has power stabilizer jacks on board, so they take that bounce out of your walk when you're walking around inside. They're not leveling the trailer, they're just stabilizing it. All four corners of the trailer have them, and they're motorized to go up and down, and uh, the back go up together. And they'll go all the way up to the body. And when you bring them down, if one side is faster than the other and one side sticking off the ground a little bit, it comes with the tool so you can manually crank it down to get that side caught up. This is the Pottery Barn Special Edition medallion that comes with the trailer. All LED marker lights on board. There's the panoramic rear window we saw from inside. It's all tinted. Beautiful tail lights here. These are all cast aluminum. Insulated rear trunk. Weather sealed, double sealed, mat here to protect the back trunk area. There's even a light on board. This is a tool to operate the manual awnings that are on the trailer. This is the tool to operate your stabilizer jack so you can catch up one side to the other. And when this closes up, it squeezes nice and tight up against the structure and it also locks with a separate key. License plate bracket with light, rear bumper storage, so you can store things that can get wet, like leveling blocks, blocks of wood, power cords, anything that's all muddy and dirty that you want to keep out of your trunk, you can store in this rear bumper. The rear window awning, pull down on this cord here, spin these over, and roll that up. And that's what it would look like in transport. I could unlock the window, get it out of the way. And then you pull the awning down, spin these over. It goes in a little cup here. And then you roll this up nice and neat. And if it's really windy, you want to put it away. Backup camera standard. So we call it a driving camera because that stays on the whole entire time when you're driving. As long as you have your parking lights on in your vehicle, it'll power that camera. And there's a monitor that comes with the trailer that stays in your tow vehicle, plugs into your 12 volt socket, and then you can see what's going on behind you. You can see when you pass someone that you've cleared them so you can change lanes. Very helpful. And that's standard on every Airstream travel trailer, traditional travel trailer, Bambi and all the way up. Over here is the tanks. So talk about tank size. 37 gallon freshwater tank on board and 34 gallon gray and black tanks. These are waste tanks, gray and black. Gray tank is your sink and shower and the black is your toilet and bathroom sink. 
Why is your bathroom sink going to the toilet tank? Well, you're usually spitting toothpaste down the toilet, I'm sorry, down the sink, mouthwash. Uh, you probably want to put those things in the black tank instead of your gray tank. Uh, so uh, Airstream does that on this model. And then you take the cap off, snap on the waste hose. We give you one here at Colonial Airstream. And you're always going to discharge the black tank first. That's our toilet water and, and uh, bathroom sink water. And that will flow through your waste hose. And then you close it and then open up the gray, which is your kitchen sink and shower fa uh, faucet drain. And that will clean out your waste hose. So when you put it back in storage, it's nice and clean. There's a light out here to illuminate this area at night. There's a waste hose storage tube that goes under the trailer here as well. So once you're done with the waste hose, you can store it away. There's drip tubes in the wheel well here for your air conditioner. So instead of the condensation running down the side of the trailer, staining the trailer, it runs through nice drip tubes. Has a city water connection, so if you don't want to use your fresh water tank and you want to hook up to a campground's water supply, you could hook up a special uh, drinking hose. It looks like a garden hose, but it's uh, uh, it's got surgical vinyl, so it's safe for you to drink. And you hook that up here. And then this also has a water pressure regulator built into it. So if you get high water pressure at a campground unexpectedly, your trailer is protected. You don't have to worry about plumbing bursting on the inside of your trailer. Most RVs, you do have to carry one externally. Airstream builds one in. And then the potable tank, this is your fresh water tank, 37 gallons. You can fill that here. You just take this cap off, stick the hose in loosely, turn the water on low. And then when the tank is full, a relief out of here. And it allow, also allows the air out of this. And the drain that tank, there's a drain valve between the wheel well here. And you spin the top of that drain valve over and now allow the fresh water tank to drain down. And there's some low point drains for winterization and to drain the trailer down when you're done using it. Black tank flush. So we talked about and I showed you the procedure to empty the black tank. Well, how do you flush it out? You're done using it, you wanna put it away in storage. You wanna get that residual waste out. So after you empty the black tank, you're gonna leave the handle open, leave the waste hose hooked up. Hook up a garden hose, not your drinking water hose, to this connection here and turn it on. Under pressure, there's a sprayer inside the tank that will spray down the walls of the tank and get that residual waste out. Once you're done, you shut it off, disconnect, then close the waste gate, put your waste hose away, and now when you put it in storage, you don't have that tank odor that builds up inside the black tank. That's standard on all Airstream travel trailers, Bambi and up. This trailer is a 50 amp service. It has two air conditioners. So it has four prong electrical cord, two legs of power that comes in. And once you're plugged into a 50 amp uh, service at a campground, you can run everything in the travel trailer. If you go to the campground and they have 30 amp, we give you at Colonial Airstream, we give you an adapter that allows you to plug into 30 amp. So that's a three prong, single stage. So one leg of power that comes in. And then with that, you can only run one air conditioner. And we also give you an adapter that takes it from 30 to 15. So you can plug it at home if you want to run the microwave or charge the trailer, but you're not going to be able to run the air conditioner. And this is a smart plug. So you just Pull, put, uh, press these here and pull straight out. And the smart plug is a great technology because not only is it easier to get full contact of your power cord into the trailer without screwing and twisting, uh, you have more metal to metal contact, so there's less of a chance of this heating up and melting like traditional RV power cords. There's also a cable and satellite connection. There's onboard cable. If you go to a campground's cable, you hook into a coax cable from their connection to your trailer. Or if you want to do satellite, you could hook a portable satellite dish and exterior. You're gonna to have to bring a satellite receiver with you and hook it on the inside of the trailer, but you could also have satellite or cable. And, and we mentioned it before, but there is a, up top, there's an antenna that will get over to air television reception as well. And this is a 30,000 B2 furnace exhaust, outside utility shower with hot and cold water. So you could, you know, hose off your feet if you just came back from the beach or your dog after a long hike, you could wash your dog off outside. This is your Gerard water heater, tankless water heater we saw from the, the control from the inside. This is the actual working device. The cooktop ventilation I turned on, this is how it vents outside. Now there are latches that you could spin and twist to lock this off. So when you're in transport and towing down the road, you don't have the thing flapping around. Or if you're in storage, you don't want it to get stuck open so bugs could fly in. The side window awning rolls up. 
is metal wrapped. And this goes the whole entire length of the trailer. So it actually shades the aluminum body, makes the trailer more efficient, uh, makes you, your shower compartment not heat up, makes your refrigerator run more efficiently. Uh, it's an essential item on this trailer or any Airstream travel trailer, but it's standard on this. To get it out, you just pull this straight out, hook it on. And then when it was up all the way, there's a twist lock that you could twist to lock it. You need to do that if you're in transport. Double stack porthole windows over the kitchen sink, 18 inch window by that front sofa lounge. This is the VIN plate with tire information, production information here. Stainless steel wrap protectors up front. We have a lot of really cool how-to service tip videos that you wanna check out on our channel. Uh, Joe uh, just did a video recently on how to remove these rock guards. Uh, these swing out so you can hang leaves and debris out from behind them. But the reason why they're stainless steel versus aluminum is a little bit more resilient. If you hit something, this could bounce and deflect back, where aluminum would dent in and stay dented. It stretches easier. Um, and the reason why it's gapped from the body is to allow that deflection uh, and the reason why there's a hinge here and nuts to remove so you could swing it out so you could clean leaves and debris out from behind it and wax the body behind it. These are gapped too for the same reason to allow some deflection if you hit something. This is a Lexan material that protects your front glass. These are called solar stone guards and they're tinted as well as the glass behind it, but there's a little neural knob on either side to lock in place, and that will keep it up. Then you can open your front window all the way out. And then if you take a screwdriver and turn a quarter turn, you can unlock this and lift it off. You just don't want to overextend it into the body because you could do some damage. Two 30 pound propane tanks. These tanks have gauges on them, and there's a reading inside. You can check your propane tanks from inside the trailer. Undo this here all the way up, unscrew it to lift the bottle cover off so you could get your propane tanks out to get them filled. Then screw that down nice and tight before you're in transport. And it has an auto switch over, so you could point this to this bottle, and when this bottle's empty, and the gauge says it's empty, you could manually switch it over to the next bottle and turn that bottle on, or if you leave both tanks on, on. This has an auto switch over, so if one is empty, it will switch automatically to the next. Electric hitch jack with a light up front here. There's a tool inside the trailer that we didn't have out that if you take this cap off, you can manually crank the trailer up and down if you need it to in an emergency. Two and five sixteenth inch ball. It's recommended to have a weight distribution kit with sway control. As long as your tow vehicle is compatible, we do recommend. Uh, we talked about the hitch weight of 900 pounds. So you wanna make sure your vehicle has the payload capacity available for the hitch weight, plus your passengers, plus accessories on your vehicle. So you add all those up and you don't want that number to meet or exceed your payload. You want some margin there. Safety chains here, it's always recommended to crisscross them. We give you a lock here that prevents theft of the trailer so no one can lift this up, they can't get a ball underneath it. Trailer breakaway cable for emergency use only. This hooks right into the hitch receiver of your vehicle. And if the trailer and, and tow vehicle were to become Disconnected, this would pull out, locking the brakes in the trailer. Uh, you just always wanna make sure you inspect this cable, make sure it's not freight, and you never pull this out and leave it out. It will rapidly drain your batteries. Very, very common beginner, newbie mistake. They pull it out, because it's easier to do it that way, and then their battery drains in a matter of hours. Boxed frame here, steel, so it's not a C-channel, so it's a very rigid frame. And over here, there's a propane quick disconnect. You see it in every one of my videos. So you can hook a little barbecue grill outside. And then this has uh, the two lithium batteries locked in that compartment. The lock is important, but the batteries are expensive, so you wanna make sure they're protected. Then there's a ZAMP quick disconnect port here on the side of the battery box that you can hook in an external solar panel and get additional solar gain. And then there's a full-size spare tire that is underneath the trailer. It's on a steel wheel. And the jack, where's the jack? The jack is in your tow vehicle. The tow vehicle you have is rated to tow this trailer. Well, 
the jack should be sufficient to jack up a portion of this trailer. And then over here on the side, there's one inside too, there's battery heater built in. So once the temp, you turn the battery heater on and if you're expecting cold weather coming up and that will then turn on when it's necessary to heat the batteries first before it takes on a charge. With lithium iron phosphate batteries, you can't charge them when it gets below a certain temperature threshold. So Airstream puts in the batteries that have the optional heat built into them to allow you to control the temperature of the battery and before you put on a charge. So that's before you put it out in the sun and let the solar charging system charge it and that's before you plug into shore power. You can just leave that switch on all the time if you want and if you do get cold weather, as long as it's parked out in the sun, the, the, the solar is gonna keep that battery charged and that's gonna heat the battery so it could take on the charge. Well, I hope you enjoyed the all new 2022 Airstream Pottery Barn Edition 28RBQ. This trailer is a display model available at our dealership, Millstone Township, New Jersey. Make sure you follow us on the web at colonialairstream.com. You can call us at 800-265-9019. We have great social media posts and updates on Instagram or Colonial Airstream, as well as Facebook. Well, I'm Patrick Botticelli, and thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon.